Voeg woorde video 3. Kom ons verdeel weer dit in groepen. In groep 1, sy volgorde van die woordorde, is dit subject en dan verb 1. Met ander woorde, die verb 1 bly op diezelfde plek. In groep 2, kry ons verb 1 eerste en dan die subject. En dan in groep 3, kry ons subject en dan verb 1 word na die einde toe geskop. In groep 1 bly die werkwoord op sy plek, in groep 2 skyf die werkwoord na die middel, en in groep 3 skyf die werkwoord na die einde. Ons kan sê dat the verb moves to the middle, because groep 2 is the middle group. En in groep 3, we can say the verb goes to the end, because we are working in the end group or the last group. As we can see in group 1, the verb stays in the same position. It does not move. Let's look at a few examples. Voorbeelde. In group 1, die seen loop in die straat, hy luister muziek. Die seen is your subject, loop your verb 1. In die straat, your place. And in your sentence number 2, hy is your subject, luister would be your verb 1, and muziek would be your object. Using a group 1 conjunction, en, we know that the verb does not move anywhere. That is your rule for group 1 conjunctions. In other words, we have the sentence as answer, die seen loop in die straat, en hy luister muziek, luister staying at the same position. Voorbeeld number 2, um, Using group 2 conjunction, die seen loop in die straat, hy dra skoene, die seen being your subject, loop your verb 1, in die straat your place. And in sentence 2, hy being your subject, dra being your verb 1, and skoene being your object. If we want to use a group 2 conjunction there, for instance, daarom, we know that the group 2 rule is that the verb goes to the middle because it's the middle group. Die seen loop in die straat, daarom, dra hy skoene, the dra moving from its original position back to the middle after the conjunction. Dra hy skoene. Built with the group 3 conjunction, die seen loop in die straat, hy gaan huis toe, die seen subject loop verb 1 in die straat place. Sentence 2, hy subject gaan verb 1, huis toe place. And let's use a group 3 conjunction omdat, and we know the rule for group 3 conjunction is that you push the verb to the end of the sentence. Die seen loop in die straat omdat, gaan jumps to the end, in other words your sentence follows, hy, hy stu, gaan.